welcome back to my shop. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. If you noticed in uh, one of my uh, latest videos, it was the uh, number 17, the Cypress uh, Holoform. If you remember in that video, I stopped uh, turning uh, for a week during this, pre uh, during this video because I had uh, other things to do. And uh, when I got back, I noticed that my uh, calipers noticed that my uh, old uh, calipers weren't uh, large enough for the holoform I was making. This is the calipers I had uh, until now, which uh, I've been using for the past few years. It's made of plastic, so it's not that durable, and the points over the years have gotten a little bit uh, filed off. Uh, but it does the job, and it was cheap uh, to ship it here so I will, I, I'm still going to use it anyway on uh, other forms but with the larger uh, hollow forms I, uh, I had a problem because this wasn't uh, large enough and I wanted to finish the project and I didn't have time to order calipers but I did have uh, a sheet of metal which is this sheet I had uh, this uh, sheet of metal uh, I got from a cousin of mine he has a garage that, uh, among other things, uh, they make uh, custom, custom-made uh, tailpipes. So I got some of uh, the metal from him, and I uh, made my own uh, calipers. And I did make a video while making those uh, calipers, but I had some problems with the camera. Some of the uh, of the process wasn't filmed, and some of it was. Uh, not so useful angles to see what exactly I'm doing there so I'm going to make another caliper today a little bit different design for different purposes and different type of uh, shape of uh, vessels and entry points and, and everything i 
option. are done. I can use the butterfly nut to open it to be completely free or to lock it to a specific width or measurement or just tighten it a little bit so it won't be so free to go from side to side. There we go. Obviously it's a little bit flex flexible because this metal is only 0.8 millimeters thick but it's rigid enough to work and be accurate. I'm still learning this pair. These are the pair I've made when I worked on my, on my Cypress Holoform and those were my old calipers and I've noticed let me just whoop, open up here and I've noticed that while checking the wall thickness at the side of the vessel it was just perfect yet when I was trying to measure here and on the underside it simply couldn't close enough to give me the correct the correct measurement so I had to make this pair and of course you can see I wouldn't recommend doing this obviously on a vessel that is already finished because this can scratch your your finish so I'm just sacrificing my piece here and obviously it's there's a lot of clearance I can see exactly the width of my bottom and anywhere inside of the walls and obviously That and with with this one, it's actually more adapted for a narrower narrower vessels, much like this, where I can if there's enough room, I can go in like this. Or obviously, if it's too narrow, 
in tall I can go in with the straight uh, line um, and it works perfectly I can see the width of my wall at each point. I don't want to press too hard so I wouldn't scratch it but obviously you get the idea thank you for watching Please leave a comment below, thumbs up, please subscribe, share the video, and I hope to see you back soon.